Hey guys, welcome to Tesla Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic which is it is necessary to learn selenium grid to get a job in software testing. So, I'm going to share about my views and probably in the end I'm going to give you more information about if you should learn selenium grid or not to get a job, right, in a software testing. All right. So, if you are excited, so let's get started guys. All right guys. So, first of all, let me give you a brief introduction about this selenium grid like in a couple of minutes so that you get the point what exactly we are discussing right so we are discussing about our selenium grid which is basically used to run multiple browsers right basically if you want to test your selenium test cases on multiple browsers multiple version of browsers you can do do that by using selenium grid right and selenium grid is one of the important uh, way where you can achieve parallelism and you can reduce your time of execution so for example if your regression suite is uh, have like 3000 plus test cases right if you want to reduce the time from 3 hours to probably 2 hours or something like this you can use selenium grid to do that because you can run your test cases parallelly and you can have a full architecture where you can uh, run on the multiple machines also right so that's how the selenium helps and if you know already selenium is basically or selenium selenium grid is all about a hub which is a manager and a nodes so nodes are different machines can be it can be a windows machine linux machine a mac machine so whatever the choice code that you are running you will send to hub hub will basically transport to that that code to the different machines right so that's a brief introduction about it so the now question arises that okay let me pull up my this annotated here so now can you get a job only by learning selling grid so my answer straight will be no i would say no because uh, if whenever we are targeting any kind of an automation job and all right they would expect you from these kind of stuff so basically they would expect all these things like selenium framework knowledge selenium grid knowledge right they will expect a uh, manual testing concept ci cd api testing and some of the project that you have done and as well as a decent programming language right so only if you know selenium grid that is not enough right and but my point here is that if is it necessary to get the knowledge of selenium grid i would say it totally depend upon the year of experience so if you have a experience of one to three years right suppose you are industry with, with the one to three years then it's fine if you don't know selenium grid then it's fine so it is not for that but if you have a three plus experience i would highly recommend that you should know this concept of selenium grid right so now it is important that you should know this concept because now you are a person who can basically can contribute up towards the uh, architect level or architect level where your how your test cases will run and how you can reduce this right uh, probably in the one two year of experience uh, this is not expected uh, that you have a selenium grid knowledge in that case because you mostly you will be writing manual test cases as well as automatic you have started to automate a couple of the uh, selenium uh, selenium test cases right but after that i would highly recommend that you should have it i would say it's one to two plus i would say it's not a three it's let's say it's two nearly so after two years it is expected so make sure you add selenium grid to your resume that you do you know it and how and basically how to do it properly using docker or selenium grid using docker swarm like kubernetes or probably using selenium and all right so you should know it so if you are interested to learn all the things check out in the video section there we have discussion right so what are the next steps uh, if you are interested i would suggest how you can do it so you can learn selenium grid about from the croc courses right so you can check out our courses also like from the learn.testingacademy.com right so and uh, do projects i will recommend if you have a automation project that uh, sit down on a weekends and try out the uh, selenium frameworks right uh, go watch out the playlist of selenium framework that i have created like five step process to create a uh, framework do that and run it on the uh, run it on the selenium grid right so that will that will be important and put those whatever the code that you have created put them into the github i will highly recommend to go go to github.com and put them there right and as well as share all the things on the linkedin so make sure you can uh, so make sure whatever the code source code or whatever the thing that you have done share that on the linkedin so overall i would say it is necessary to learn the selenium grid it totally depend upon the year of experience that you have if you have a one two years of experience that is not expected from you but if you have a two plus years of experience i will highly recommend that you should know the selenium grid concept as well as you have tried it somewhere and you should add those to your resume 
as well as to your GitHub profile that okay you have worked with a Selenium grid and that's how you have worked it and, and you have to show them exactly how you have used hub and node what are the different nodes that you had at the time right so that was quick uh, quick question about it I hope you have learned something new and thanks a lot give give like if you are learning something new if you if you are the one basically who had this kind of a question right and don't forget to subscribe guys please make sure to subscribe and uh, if you have any question related to selenium grid and all do let me know in the comment i'll be happy to help so and what do you think about if it is necessary uh, to learn selenium grid for a two plus years experience comment down below i'll be happy to help i'll reply every one of it right thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you in the next video